Jay is a microbiology student who is interning at a lab on campus. Jay's supervisor wants all of his interns in the lab to present a poster at an upcoming poster day at their university, where undergraduate students can share their research. Public speaking is a strength of Jay's, and he has some research that he's really excited to share. Before he gets started on his poster, Jay decides to check in with his supervisor to see which of his research projects would be the most interesting for this presentation. Jay has a few ideas, which he shares, and his supervisor recommends that Jay makes a poster based on the mRNA research he's currently doing. With this recommendation, Jay organizes his lab notes and asks a few classmates, who haven't been involved in his research, to let him know if his outline makes sense. One classmate highlights a few portions where she thinks more information should be added, and points out one section that has too much information. Another classmate suggests that he reorder two sections for improved flow. Jay takes these recommendations, and after revising his outline, he creates a poster to present his mRNA research. After getting his supervisor's approval for the poster, Jay practices his presentation with a few of his fellow interns, and they practice their presentations as well. Jay is now prepared for poster day with a clearly organized poster, and with practice presenting his research and answering questions. What communication behaviors did Jay display in this scenario? After Jay's internship and his completion of his PhD, Jay is hired on as a medical scientist at a research hospital. In his new role, Jay conducts research aimed at developing mRNA treatments and vaccines. Jay is regularly asked to present his research in lab meetings to keep his coworkers and supervisor updated on his research. These presentations also give him an opportunity to solicit advice. How did Jay's internship help prepare him for his career? <laughs> 